So yeah, how do you yeah. stay, how do you stay relevant? And when I'm teaching these database, you know, these young agents to build their database, to be disciplined about it, to organize it, to, and then to um, be systematic in their approach about how they engage with people. Um, one of the biggest things that I talk to them about is okay. Every month you have halt, you know, like certain months of the year you have holidays, and everywhere else you have to like add in the value you're giving them when you contact them. Why are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Right. So, right, what, right. yeah. So, so like you said, it's an art form. So how does this solve that problem? Yeah. Like where does it bridge the gap? That's hey, hello, hello, hello. Happy. What is it? Uh, is it Wednesday? Yes. yes Wednesday. Okay. Cinco de Mayo. Uh, what's up, Lab Code Agents? I am actually really excited to be here with Dan Stewart and Barry Jenkins, who you might be familiar with. Uh, we have Happy Grasshopper and LCA Nurture. And um, I am super, super interested because, you know, whether you're brand new in the business or whether you have a business that you have scaled, um, there is nothing better than being able to systemize automate um, something like um, being able to touch your database because that is the most valuable thing that you can possibly keep organized. Uh, I'm speaking from my painful experience and also uh, <laughs> that you can just stay consistent with so that way, you know, whenever um, you get to ask for business, you're not just coming out of the blue and you just haven't talked to them in forever. So um, I would love, love, love. We have Dan Stewart going to explain a little bit about how it works. And I would love to hear Barry's like story. Yeah, we'll absolutely dive in. We got so much stuff to cover. I'm excited about that. And I also love all these people saying hi. And, and no, we're not having a beard battle. I surrender. Barry's beard is superior to mine. It's that's we're good. That's he wins. I actually got these glasses just because of this <laughs> webinar. Okay. So those of you, there's one person that says, why did Dan and Barry look like brothers? It's the glasses. That's all. Oh, it is the glasses. <laughs> You're, you're a real estate agent where? Virginia Beach, Virginia. Virginia Beach. And I'm in uh, Anchorage, mm -hmm. Alaska. And Yay. Yeah, I'm, I'm a, I'm, my team's in Anchorage. And then, um, Dan, you're in where? Uh, Tampa, Florida. Yeah, we've got, we've got uh, like, whoo, we're surrounding the whole United States here. This is great. Oh, yeah, very cool. So let's let's dive in. What 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 is LCA Nurture? Um, why would an agent, um, you know, use it as opposed to Mailchimp or maybe some another technology they're already leveraging? Um, why is it worth the hassle to to do that? You know, um, talk to me about it. Yeah, great question. So it's 2021. Like, let's just acknowledge that everything sends content. Okay, there's a million systems out there that can send content. The challenge is, well, when's the right time to send and what should we actually say? So the work that I've been doing for a past decade is about answering those questions in a way that it creates value for the people who are our members, the people who are sending content. So uh, what we've done with LCA Nurture is we've decided to focus on the most valuable segment of every agent's database, which would be people who actually know who you are, like your, your sphere and your past clients. Like, I mean, we all love Barry, right? Let's just acknowledge that. Barry's kind of a super awesome dude, okay? So we can't be surprised that if he reaches out to people who already think he's super awesome, that he can find opportunities to list more homes and have buyers referred to him. Like, everybody can do that. If you're on this session right now and you have past clients who've ever referred you anyone, that's proof that you're awesome at what you do. Right? So don't be afraid about keeping in touch with your past clients in Sphere. Uh, instead, really leverage those relationships to make everything easier. Right? So you could get off that, oh my God, or am I getting enough leads to hit my goals? And how do I convert more leads? Right. Ah, it's, it's an important <laughs> thing to generate leads and convert them. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. It just, it, you know, the base, the foundation of your success in any business should be based on relationships, in my opinion. So. Absolutely. Yeah, and yeah. like I would, I would say, Dan, that you know, for me, uh, staying in contact with my past clients, you know, I'm I don't I don't sell houses anymore, right? So my team has become a monster. You know, they're doing 800 transactions a year, 
and um, I'm pursuing as I run my team many exciting other things just because I get bored easy. Um, and what LCA Nurture allowed me to do was to be very personal and in touch with large groups of people, and it's effort, it was effortless. And, in, and I almost think that the name Nurture doesn't even do this platform justice. I'm not trying to knock the name. I'm just saying, like, there's so many lead nurture products out there, and that's not really what this is. Like, it's, it's, it's really, like, you know, like, conversation, like, it, it's just a conversation piece, you know? And um, even the email copy uh, is it's hilarious to me. You know, I'm not, I'm hopefully I'm, am I stealing your thunder? Oh, I'm going to be quiet. No. Go ahead. No, no, no. Okay. All right. I didn't know. People have context. Okay. So, I mean, Barry, you're kind of known at least with us and our, you know, in our moderator sphere is someone who is very, very knowledgeable about technology. You have a very strong systems and technology, um, you know, um, you can say it. I'm a nerd. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, 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 no. I mean, if that's what you want. <laughs> But you know, those are my favorite uh, um, people that are strong, right? Because, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I don't know. I could grow in that area. So, um, what I'll say is, what were you using before, and why did you go over to LCA Nurture? What, so what, that's what what's interesting is that you needed to lean in this area. Well, I mean, I think everybody knows that. The, your past clients and your sphere of influence is the most important thing. Like everybody says that. What is the Keller Williams? Uh, so Gary Keller wrote that millionaire. Yeah. Um, everybody says millionaire the name of it. Agent. What is it? Okay. He said, if you have 50 people that you're their real estate person, you've got a full-time career. I mean, this is not unknown. And yet, you know, not a lot of agents are not really good at staying in contact with their sphere of influence. And I know for me, uh, when Zillow became popular back in 2010, that was my shot. I love people, like, but I love people in small settings where I can like, you know, engage them and talk with them and find out what makes them tick. You get me in a room of like a hundred past clients and like, I want to get out of there. That's just me. Like, I just don't like it. So the only big event I ever did was I bought a movie theater, you know, and bought it because then I didn't have to talk to anybody. And, and so with, with this product, what it's, what it's allowed me to do is from the comfort of my own home, uh, reach people quickly, effortlessly, um, uh, the platform. So I, I knew, everybody knows this is a need, but we're using like emails, some of us maybe are doing um, video, um, but the, the problem with with all of those things is the content is on me. And I think contacting somebody every month or two and not being annoying is an art form. I don't think you can do it easily. <laughs> as you know, and it's, <laughs> um, what I I just want to like ad lib to what you're saying a little bit, Barry, because. Um, I love that you say it's an art form, like, cause I, I have several agents that I'm training right now. Um, and, and I love to coach new agents, you know, like, um, cause it, it's like all the pains that I have that I wish I would have been told when I was, you know, it's like, <laughs> I think I have just, I've been a mom for 18 years. So like, I know how to give good advice. Right. Um, but the thing <laughs> is that, um, uh, it's one thing when you have, I'll never forget, like about year three, even as an extrovert. I was bursting at the seams because when you have, you know, my first year I had 30 clients. My second year I had a hundred and something clients. My third year I had like almost 200 clients to like, to try to love on. And in, in the same way that I got my reputation on from in the beginning, like I'm only one human being. How could I possibly like yep. extend my affections to all these people that want me to show up in their life? I, I just, I'm like, right. You know, it sucks when you're not an introvert, for example, Barry, you're maybe you're a little more reserved or, or um, but, you know, because I'm so extroverted, people also get this expectation of me that I'm going to like keep showing up as, as like, you know, and I'm like, oh. yeah. you want like, to come to my birthday party? I want, <laughs> I love them. Like, I'm, 
to just like yeah. connect to you in my dreams. We can teleport to each other. Like, I don't know what to do, right? So yeah, how, do you yeah. stay, how do you stay relevant? And when I'm teaching these database, you know, these young agents to build their database, to be disciplined about it, to organize it to, and then to um, be systematic in their approach about how they engage with people. Um, one of the biggest things that I talk to them about is, okay, every month you have, you know, like certain months of the year you have holidays and everywhere else you have to like add in the value you're giving them when you contact them. Why are you talking about them? Mm -hmm. Right. So, right, what, right. yeah. So, so like you said, it's an art form. So how does this solve that problem? Yeah. Like, where does it bridge the gap? That, it, this question of value, like, how do you prove your value? Right. I think if you ask most agents, the agent's answer would be, well, you provide information that they're likely to want, you know, tell them what's going on in the real estate market. And that is one form of value that another, that an agent can provide. Uh, another form of value is to demonstrate that you care enough about them just to reach out and keep them engaged in an ongoing conversation with you. you know, that, that's what a friendship is, really. Uh, all relationships live inside conversation. So, you know, my premise, my hypothesis, like my core belief is that if we can consistently engage more people in conversation, our businesses grow. Uh, there's really no other alternate there. So, you know, I think the easiest way to answer your question would be to share my screen. Would it be all right if I do that? Absolutely, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna uh, share this here real quick. And we're actually gonna jump into an LCA Nurture account. So, you know, I'm logged in right now to the voicemail drop area. I'm gonna come up here to the dashboard. And when you arrive on the dashboard, this kind of guides you through what your upcoming messaging like, opportunities are. Uh, who has, is there background noise on somebody's background? Is that you, Barry? Probably me. Uh, you might want to just uh, mute while he's talking. Okay, cool. I love what Jim is saying here in the chat. Conversations before commissions. Like, that's the tattoo I don't have. That is beautiful. <laughs> that's, exact, that's exactly right. Uh, conversations before commissions. Yeah, and, and that's the same whether you're trying to convert leads, whether you're trying to nurture your past clients and sphere, or whether you're trying to grow your team or your brokerage through recruitment. You've got to build that relationship uh, on the path to closing the sale, right? It's so important to do that. So back to the dashboard here for a moment. Uh, LCA Nurture is a messaging program that's designed to keep in touch with people very consistently throughout the year. So there's email, there's social media content, there's voicemail drops, and there's text messaging. And the way this all fits together is really simple. So we'll start with email. There are 17 email messages per year here that our agent members get to rate, right? So like, here's a Mother's Day message. Some people will read that, give it five stars. Some people might not like it at all and rate it poorly. That's okay. That gives our authors a chance to see what our community prefers, and then we'll create more of that messaging for them. So 17 times per year, we're sending content like this. And you know, Barry, you recently sent a message. Uh, you reached out to me. I wonder if I have this one saved here. It was like, I can't remember exactly what it was. Party or something. Party or vacation was the subject. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was about, uh, you know, after this whole COVID thing is over, would you rather go to a giant party or take a great vacation? You know, just a simple conversation starter where we can ask people about things they're likely to be interested in now. Right. So, you know um, Dan, is that we've spent quite a bit of time on Clubhouse, a lot of us moderators, mm -hmm. and um, that's, it's kind of like um, you were testing clickbait, you know, like um, very similar where the room title, you know, where the, the subject matter on the, the email heading, you know, will depend on whether people, you know, are prompted to their curiosity is, is hooked, you know? Yeah, yeah. It, You've got to get them to read the message if you're going to create the conversation. So it's important to have a really impactful subject line that gets the message read. Um, so I'm going to come back to the dashboard here. Uh, I'd like to just point out a couple of things. So first of all, LCA Nurture is available for all LabCode agent members now. When we started, we had some restrictions here because we wanted to make sure we had everything working correctly. So now any LCA member can just come to happygrasshopper.com slash meet LCA nurture 
and they can start a free trial. So 14 days and boom, off you go. Uh, now, once you open your account for the first time, there's a tour that runs that's going to walk you through everything you need to do to actually get your account to work for you. So it, it's simple and easy to go through those steps to get your contacts loaded and to be ready to send. Now, uh, we've talked about uh, email. I want to talk a little bit about voicemail drops because this is another thing that's super valuable like holiday messages, quarterly lead harvesting messages, birthday messages, transaction anniversary messages. We've written all these scripts for you. And all you have to do is preview a script. Uh, you can press the record button and uh, then we're ready to send it out to your past clients in Sphere. So I'm gonna show you a message here we call the Barry Jenkins script uh, for a very good reason. So. Uh, Barry, you recorded this message uh, in our system, which, you know, doing that is really easy. You just have to click record voicemail drop and start talking. And like right now I'm recording this message. <laughs> okay, so it's that easy. And then uh, I'm going to stop this recording now. Then our system is ready to send that message. So I'll delete that little recording I just made. Uh, what, tell us about what happened when you sent this message, Barry. Yeah, so... Uh... I, uh, I just, I was like, man, this is really neat. I, I was getting engagement with the emails that you guys are sending, which I still want to talk about, but we'll talk about this now. Um, and so I was like, I was like, okay, this is working. I need to, I need to explore the other features. And I was like, okay, voicemail drops. You know, I, I use voicemails for like, um, you know, lead engagement and all these other platforms, you know, and then I started looking at the examples that you guys provided. Um, uh, and I said, you know, okay. Uh, well, you you organized everything based on. Uh, you might be able to hear my three month old in the background. Can you guys hear that? Nope. Yeah. <laughs> Vanessa has better hearing thing. than I do. <laughs> All right. Okay. Anyway, um, so uh, I said, you know, so because of the integration that LCA Nurture has with Follow Boss, it was able to take my database based off of tags and stages. And I've got, you know, a section of leads. I've got my past clients that are closed. Um, and then I've also got um, uh, my sphere of influence. And so what I did was I was like, you know what, I'm going to ping 300 of my past clients. And I'm going to, um, what can I do? What can, what can I, I, I want listings. Okay. Um, friends and family. All right, I, and I just literally, one take, I just recorded it and, and it took 20 seconds. I said, hey, this is, uh, this is Barry. Uh, I'm only leaving this message with past clients and um, we're releasing our friends and family discount. If you or someone that you know that's a friend or a family member needs to sell their home or wants to in the next six to 12 months, you've got to give me a call. Uh, you're going to be really excited what I have to say. That's it. And I actually had three past clients call me, not two. I had two when I told Dan about it the first time. And then I had a third last week that said, literally, I saved your message. I wasn't sure, but now I'm ready to uh, talk. And, um, and so I had, to, I, had to, <laughs> I had to figure out what the friends and family program was uh, once people started calling me. And so I just came up with a, you know, a promotion of, uh, and, I, and, uh, and it works. I mean, it, and it worked. And so, you know, what, what, um, what LCA nurture did for me was they organized my database. It made me think, what is a message I can give that gives me something that I want? And it made it very easy and effortless to reach 300 people in a matter of an instant. And, um, and uh, so can I do that message every week? No, no, that would be really annoying, <laughs> you know, um, but, uh, but it worked really well. Dan, you said that you have 17 touches in the program. Is that what it is? There's 17 emails, 12 text messages and 12 ringless voicemail drops per contact per year. So let me give you the breakdown. The email is once every three weeks, and that's fun and friendly content. It's not salesy. The text messaging uh, follows this sequence. So their birthday, they get a text a week before their birthday. They hear your voice wishing them happy birthday in their voicemail on their birthday. 
So that's like a one-two punch. Uh, transaction anniversary works just the same way. Then there are four lead harvesting messages. So once every 90 days, you send a message that generates leads from people who know you. And then the balance of those six messages are the up to six holidays per year that you choose to send a message. So uh, we notify our members, keep them right on schedule when it's due for them to send, we notify them and, and they jump in there and are able to send the message. Awesome. And so really quick. Um, so Barry, you said that they help you organize your database. Now, what do you mean by that? Because like for a lot of agents that have like a mess, how could they, how could they, you know, go and organize a database where maybe, you know, who, who how could you discriminate be, between someone being a family member, a friend, et cetera? Well, for me and Dana, you know, I don't know how you take it when it's a big conglomerate, but in my case, uh, tags and stages were what, so it was already done in follow-up boss. And then what I did in follow-up boss went into um, LCA nurture and, you know, you can do separate imports. So like, let's say you wanted to do your LinkedIn, you know, you can download that and import that into, you know, your sphere of influence, um, you know, that kind of stuff. Awesome. And, like, is there a limit of how many people that this goes out to? It's up to 250 contacts are allowed in LCA Nurture. So what Barry did was he upgraded his LCA Nurture account, which, you know, we're making this available for every LCA agent. And, and it's a great way, like, since Barry started with LCA Nurture, we've already expanded and we're working on some recruitment projects with him now, too. So... Uh, you know, at Happy Grasshopper, we can absolutely scale to whatever size our members are. Um, now, Barry, back to your point about organizing a database. Uh, I like to teach that we've got to simplify this process because it's so easy when you're at scale to have hundreds or thousands of tags in your database. Uh, it can get very confusing very quickly. And so there's some simplicity we can bring by realizing that there's only two kinds of people alive today. They know us or they don't, right? That's pretty simple. Leads don't know us, our past clients and sphere do. So you can export your past clients from your MLS, from your transaction management system, you know, from whatever database you have, they can flow in nice and easily. Um, and then of course, you know, for leads, we have to have a different content plan because we have to help those people get to know us. We have to pull them closer. So, um, you know, when you think about, does this person really know me or not? Should they be an LCA nurture? Uh, I ask you to think about the grocery store test. So, you know, take your database, imagine you're walking around a grocery store with everybody in your database that's in there who is going, oh my gosh, hi, Vanessa. Hey, Barry, how are you? If, they're, if they don't know you at that level, they really shouldn't be in LCA Nurture, right? We want it to be people who actually know who you are. You know, I was, the way that I tell um, my new agents how to discriminate on filtering their really core database, especially when they're building it, you know, it's who would you call if you had a graduation? Who would you call if you, uh, to your promotion ceremony? Who would you invite to your wedding? Who would you call if your mom got sick? You know, who would you, I mean, like when you just think about like, I mean, who would come to your funeral? <laughs> like, you know, like if you're going to pre-write your list, you know, when you think about, um, who cares to know life events that happen in your life? Mm -hmm. You know, those are kind of, you know, they're your cherry uh, picking of your database of people that already have a degree of rapport with you that, um, that are going to, you know, want to listen to what you have to say anyway. Yeah. When, when Barry mentioned that 50 people, you know, if you get 50 people who really know who you are, you, your business is set, you can do it. Um, that's, that's what we're, we've designed this service to do is really cultivate that core group of people who absolutely know you and more importantly, refuse to let their friends and family buy, sell, or invest in real estate with anybody else. Like if, if you're my person, I'm not going to let people I care about talk about real estate in front of me without bringing you up. Right. And, um, you know, so how, uh, okay. So we have the, we have the, the text drops, uh, excuse mm -hmm. me, 
workshops, we talked about um, a little bit about the email sequence. Now, I'll be honest with you. Um, one of my biggest barriers to having um, one of these systems is, um, and it comes from my very, very, very first CRM, you know, where um, I think we had conversion or something. And um, number one, it wouldn't turn off. So then, mm. you know, it was like a, a dialogue sequence. And then, you know, I sounded crazy. And then it was like saying things I wouldn't normally say that then I just, you know, I had this deep sense of uh, shame and embarrassment. So what would you say to people that, ha that, that have to overcome, you know, not being part of the, the copywriting and, yeah. um, you know, like knowing what's being said? Well, so I'm going to turn my screen share back on here because uh, when you get that notification and it's time to come in here and choose a message, I expect you to really like some messages and not really like other messages. It's always up to you. You get to choose which of these you'd send. Like I'll, I'll preview this message about Rocky. Um, you remember the Rocky movies? Like we've probably all seen those at least once, right? Now, Vanessa, for all I know, you've never heard of Sylvester Stallone or he's your best friend and like you love all of his movies, right? Um, if, if that resonates with you, if this message is one that you feel great about, then send it. If not, choose a different message from the database. And what we're doing here in this message is sharing a little bit. We're asking them, do they like the movies? There's a little known story about Rocky that's worth sharing. Uh, during filming, Stallone asked Dolph Lundgren to go hard during a fight scene for the first 45 seconds, really try to knock me out, is what he said. Well, it, it literally nearly killed Stallone. He ended up in intensive care for five days. His heart was swollen. He was near death. And I think this is a really good illustration of the difference between a true professional and somebody who looks like a true professional. Right? So... You know, the call to conversation, the way we return that to real estate is it's a pretty good example of how looking the part is no substitute for training and experience. In my career, I've seen this time and time again. So if you know anyone who's thinking of buying, selling or investing in real estate, please send them my way. Okay. So it's a little nugget of value. It pulls the conversation back to real estate. And I know as I'm sharing this, that some of the people watching this are saying, oh, I want to send that right now. And others are like, I would never send that in a million years. And guess what? They're both right. If it does not resonate with you, you should not send it. You know? So um, for example, with that said, um, if I'm a new agent, right? And um, what's like, what's the process? Um, what's the process as I, uh, so I sign up for the trial. And then what are the first like, five steps that I'm going to want to do to be very efficient. Because the, the thing that people do often with new systems is like, we go like 60% in, right? Like yeah. we buy it, sign up for it. We like play with it. We're like, ah, this doesn't work. And then we walk away. Yeah. I mean, let's be real. Agents are super impatient. So like, what do you, well, how do you, what are your. Within, within 10 to 15 minutes of starting that trial, they'll be ready to send their first message. So it's really straightforward and the system walks them through. When they come in for the first time, they'll get this welcome. And this tour guides them through literally every step of what they need to do to get results with the system. Okay. Now you can exit this tour whenever you like, and you can always restart it again. And then no matter which page you're on, you can always restart the tour and it will give you instructions of what to do with it. Now, I just happened to click on the social media area. We haven't talked about this. Uh, my writers create these posts and we push them here into your account. Once every two weeks, they're all new. And as I scroll through here, you'll realize that many of them are about starting conversations on real estate related topics. And, you know, if you think about how to use social media effectively as an agent, uh, having conversations is the reason to be on social media. So, you know, every now and then it's fine to push your listings and market your open houses. Most of the time, you should just be ready to have conversations about real estate. So that's and, what these posts help our members do. And so you're, so you're saying you're also delivering social media content. We are, and we're delivering it here inside the account. Our members copy the text and then they download the image. Then they post it on their social media accounts. 
that's important because you know all the social media companies they can tell whether it's my servers posting uh the yeah, information like, or whether it's your device yeah, right or, or yeah or yeah. third party, which is dangerous. And so for someone that's highly leveraged, they would then have their virtual assistant do this job right here. Absolutely. Yeah. Once a day, post some content on social. And, you know, we see a lot of members like uh, Brandon Baca, for example, at 10 Oaks in Nashville, he's got his whole brokerage uh, using the platform to post this content. And we're seeing between like 10 and 20 comments within a few minutes of when the posts are going up. So, well, and, let me interject here a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, you know, one thing that I think is an important um, <laughs> uh, one one thing that I think is important um, uh, an important distinction. Um, you know, agents we call it like commission breath, right? You can tell the person's just trying to sell, and so we we are so many are so afraid of being that way that they don't do anything. And I think what this does is it. Um, it's so subtly engaging that I'm, I'm kind of, I want to make sure everybody understands something. The fact that it's not like tricking people into working with you, but it's actually somewhat interesting to read. That's the genius. That's the magic. You know, Dan, you mentioned an email that talked about the party after COVID or, um, or traveling. And I, I got two responses from that email. One, the response was, I'm definitely going to be traveling. Also, I need to buy a new construction house. Can you have someone call me today? <laughs> the second one was, Barry, I'm an investor, a hard money lender. I'm going to text you my business card. Those are the only two responses. Oh, and he did say, by the way, he was going to have a party. But like, I guess what I'm trying to say is I, I write drip campaigns or Wailopo and, and, and CRMs and, and it's very like real estate, hey, click here to see homes, you know, that kind of stuff. But I'm not artsy fartsy, right? Not that you are, Dan, but I'm just not, right? And like, I'm not, I'm not gonna be able to come up with content that is interesting. It's gonna be very boring if I write it. Um, and what this enables me to do is to be interesting to thousands of people at once. And so the genius in this is the subtlety. And I, I think, I don't know how else to describe it, but that's those of you that are listening and watching, I would encourage you. I've been in the business 22 years. My team sells 850 houses a year. I would encourage you to test this for a few months, let the content work for you, and you'll be surprised at how it facilitates a conversation. And they know you're an agent. It says it at the bottom of the emails and then the voicemails that you leave and the text messages. And so it's going to come back. You know, when I, I'm sorry, I'm talking a lot, but when I would go to church, I didn't want to be one of those people that like went to church and wore my business. I'm not there to generate business, right? I, that, that was, I was, I'm not, it was Sunday morning. I'm, I'm there to like, you know, participate in my faith and the more I tried to avoid talking about real estate, the more people started coming to me. And literally, I remember like, I, I had a circle around me. I had like nine people around me, some wanting a job, some wanting help with what the market's doing. Like, and my wife's like, really? And I'm like, I can't help it. Like, I'm just, I'm not trying to talk to them. And that's what this does is it just kind of keeps me in front of them. And then they come to me. So I'll be quiet now. Yeah, no, no, no. And I think, you know, it's super powerful. The real estate is very interesting in this way. Okay. So let's just be honest with you. Um, uh, it, it's uh, be honest with ourselves really is that people don't need you that often that they're going to follow your professional like page because they want to see every single post. Like, they're just not like, you're not that important in their life. They might like you, but they're not going to want to see all your business stuff. And that's where real estate is very, very different um, as a profession, because it is very consuming in the, in the sense that you have to stay top of mind. Like why don't people always think of you when they're going to tell somebody they hear real estate. And it's because you kind of have to own being a realtor as also part of your personal life, a hundred percent of the time in one subliminal way 
or another. <laughs> um, if not, then, you know, when they see, when their friend thinks about buying a house, they might say, I know like five real estate agents, I think, or 10 or 30, like depending on how saturated your market is. But if you're the one person that they always hear talking about your expertise or your like perspectives about something related to your business, even if it's not like a complete sell, you know, then you're going to be the top of mind like name and face that they recall it's just neuroscience you know um that they recall because they've seen your your input more frequently it's yeah we all know the importance of top of mind top of mind top of mind it's it's doing such it in a, a way it, that's not like sell 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 do it in a way that's not salesy and also do it in a way that's authentic to who you are like that's what I'm working really hard at behind the scenes is providing enough variety. So, you know, Barry can like one message and you can like an entirely different message. And both of you have the opportunity to engage with your past clients and sphere uh, in the right way. So uh, while we're chatting, I saw a question came in from Jessica. I want to make sure we answer this. She's asking, so the text, they don't come from your cell, right? Uh, does it feel like it's more bulk and not very personalized? Also, the birthday and anniversary messages, it's not automated. You have to manually send it at the same time every year. So let me clear all of that up. Um, when you're importing your database, we're putting everybody on a schedule. So if we know their birthday information, if that's part of your upload, like here you see upcoming birthdays in the next 30 days. Hey, I've got one coming up. So I'm identified here. Uh, I can just click to send a text message and tag these people I want to send the message to. And like, I'll send it to Jerry right now. He's a buddy of mine. Uh, whoosh, that message has gone out and he may reply here while we're on the, on the webinar. So it's really easy. And then I've also pre-recorded a voicemail drop. That's ready to go. So I'm going to wait until it's his actual birthday and then I'm going to be triggered to send that. So... That's a simple way that this works. Now, when you're setting up your account and uh, you wanna use the text messaging, one of the first things that you'll do is set up a phone number. So uh, like this, for example, is my texting phone number and this is my cell number. So if anybody calls this number, it's gonna get auto forwarded to my regular cell number. Now, uh, the FCC requirements, we cannot spoof your phone number. We cannot pretend to be texting from your phone number because that's what scammers do. We don't want you to get caught up in any of that. So we establish a new number. If people call it, those calls come right through to you. And then you can manage all of your conversations that you're having here in the channels area. So um, like the, the best example of this, one of my favorite examples is the way we use Happy Grasshopper for Happy Grasshopper. So I have a team of sales development reps who will send out bursts of 30 text messages and they'll get like an 80, 85% reply to those messages. We have dozens of conversations going on simultaneously. And from that, we're able to pull people into our calendar and then help them solve their problems. So uh, Kyle, I see your question. He's asking, can you use the same follow-up boss number or is it a different number? Yes, it has to be a different number. Um, we can't uh, we can't set it up to where we're sending from Follow Up Boss's servers. Although uh, we love Follow Up Boss, it's a great service. Dan Corkle's a good buddy. Uh, we're both integrating with Twilio to send these messages, but we're we're not the same company, so we can't share the same number. So uh, Michael Rennick is asking about the cost after the trial. Uh, this service is ridiculously low priced. It's $47 per month. And if you pay for the year, you actually get uh, two months free. So it'd be $470 for the whole year. And when you buy the annual plan, you get the Revaluate integration free. So Barry and Vanessa, are you familiar with Revaluate? Do you know this service? I only have 20,000 contacts in my Revaluate, <laughs> okay. but I don't know how to, I need to talk to you because I haven't connected Revaluate to okay. anything I'm doing with Happy Grasshopper. So well, maybe we in, can do In that. the back end of your account, you can come to settings 
And as long as you have the integrations tab on, you can just drop your revaluate. Uh, like here, it's active in this account. In your I'll send account, you a Facebook message. Yeah, we'll we'll connect that way. It should be easy. Yeah. But the the main thing, like let's focus on what revaluate yeah. does. That's right. so cool. Uh, they find people who are highly likely to move that are already in your database. Mm -hmm. So they they figured out the math to where they're constantly searching the internet for the four Ds, right? That's diamonds, diapers, divorces, and death. Because each of those Ds represents a significant driver for people wanting to move. So, uh, you know, they're scouring public data records as well as social media to know when those events are happening. And when they are, those people get surfaced here right inside your account. You can read it right there. You see what their revaluate score is. Anything above 80 is considered highly likely to move within the next six months. So whenever you see people pop up here, you should be calling them. You want to connect with them. Absolutely. And what is that? What is that based on? And that's a different system then? Yeah, Revaluate is a separate company that we have an integration with. Um, so Chris Dreyer is the CEO over there. He's a great guy, great company. And it just basically it 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 has a score and it it's kind of like what was really good about I was almost about to say the company. Um, there was a company that did a lot of analytics around people moving and then they provided you the marketing. Well, this is just the analytics to people moving. And man, when I say I've got a lot of workflows around that moving score, I don't call it the revaluate score. I call it the moving score. Um, and uh, the data is good. You know, anybody who was above an 80, a lot of times they don't even know they should move yet. <laughs> They're just dealing with not having enough bedrooms. <laughs> it's like, you really need to think about this, you know? So you're, you're catching people very early on. Yeah. Anyway, that's a good point. And, and you want to be careful about how you reach out, you know? Um, right. Cause you so, never know if it's like a fragile or sensitive. Right. Topic. Yeah. Yeah. You want to show up as a human being who just, Hey, I've been thinking about you, Vanessa. You're like, I don't on? know if the secret's in, in the back of my head. You're like, here's a, Trudy board or something. <laughs> right. Right. Now that there, I see a couple of questions come in and people are asking about upgrades and what they can do with that. Yes. We understand that many of you have more than 250 people who actually know you. There is an account, a step up here from nurture that goes up to 500 contacts. And then we have our pro account and the pro account is where we actually interview our members to create custom content for either lead conversion uh, or for recruitment. Uh, so, you know, those of you who are asking that, I just went just through gonna... the recruiting and let me just say the content for the recruiting, I was very impressed. I'm like really, really excited to start sending that out. The guy nailed it. I love to hear that. And Ron was your writer and, and he did a great job. Yeah. We saw your feedback. We posted that on the internal board and I jumped right in. I read all the way through it. I was like, yay. All right. Awesome. Can't wait to see this go live. It's great stuff. So there was another question that popped up here. Let's see. Uh, Howie, he's an associate broker, also works with Dan, been a realtor for over 20 years, but only have 40 people in my account. Now, I, I so love that you asked this question because, or I guess it's Howie. Excuse me, Maya's saying that too, Howie. I'm reading this wrong. But uh, my attitude would be, you don't get a prize for having the most contacts. <laughs> you get the prize for having great relationships. So that's what we should really focus on. I have members who load as few as 16 contacts in their accounts and they find multiple transactions. Uh, Todd Clark did that. I'll never forget that story. He loaded like 16 contacts just to test it. And he found two transactions in those 16 people. So that's awesome. And uh, Maya here is saying she's got four closings so far this year from those 40 contacts. So that's awesome. That's yeah, that's awesome. a really awesome conversion rate. Definitely. Absolutely. So 30 day money back guarantee, what does that mean? Well, it's almost completely self-explanatory, right? So but for I mean, 30 days, if they don't like it, they get the money. Back. And you have a free trial for 14 days. So yeah, yeah, yeah I just, I, it's really important to me. I have to express this, right? 
Happy Grasshopper is my life's work. It's my labor of love. And it's okay that people may not love what we do or they may not get it. That's all right. We create fantastic results for people who are in alignment with some of our core beliefs. So I'm a relationship guy. I love having relationships. I love having conversations with the people in my life. You know, if somebody doesn't, isn't in alignment with that, that's okay. They just probably shouldn't use our services because we are going to create a lot of conversations for them. So you know, I want to give everybody a chance to give it a try and then get out pain-free if they don't love it. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I really, I really love um, uh, um, just just what you were saying. And what's great about Happy Grasshopper is that you guys are not a fly by night. You guys have literally grown with the industry. Your tech has evolved with um, with the, the changes, the different landscapes, um, supporting agents. So, you know, I think that um, when people are looking at investing in technology, I think the one thing that agents probably hate about themselves is they tend to uh, chase shiny objects and just like bite off on, on you know, kind yeah. of worlds because we're we're all in pain and we're all looking for solutions <laughs> that, that's the truth i always tell people you know whether you are really good at real estate or whether you suck it's hard so it's going to be painful and uh you know you have to pick your pain right the pain of discipline or the pain of regret but um what i'll say is or the pain of you know being really really busy or the pain of an empty bank account um you know uh so um, what I love is that you, that this, this happy grasshopper, like has legit been something that, uh, has really evolved over the decades with, you know, with the, the really high level agents that use it at a high level. And, you know, so it wouldn't be one that, um, that's just like a, Hey guys, this system is new and kind of looks good and maybe take a risk. I don't know. You know, it's like a legit tried and true system. So everyone well, watching you. this should definitely use the database, uh, excuse me, use the free trial, sign up, um, you know, and, uh, and, and, you know, and anyone else, um, you know, I know Barry being such a social proof kind of guy, um, which means like he tries things. You know? Well, yeah. And I went all in once I started the results. And so we're actually releasing this to our entire brokerage. And Sorry, I Dan, I don't know if you're talking about that, but well, I, I, thank you, yeah, Barry, for it's, bringing it's, it up. It's, it's a white. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's so Barry. I think you're a really great example. You know, the the reason LCA Nurture uh, exists as a service is so we can serve people where they are, and Barry's a great example of how a relationship can start there, and then it can expand. So. Uh, one of the things we have the capability of doing is branding our application uh, for different companies like we've done for lab code agents and uh, we've done that now for better homes and gardens native american group barry's brand and uh, he's rolling that application out to all of his agents which you know it's a really tremendous way from a, a recruitment and retention perspective to say you know when you join barry you get access not just to to Barry, but to Barry's knowledge and fluency with technology, uh, including this application that's really been designed specifically to support their needs. So, yeah, yeah thank you for bringing that up, Barry. I might have uh, I might have left that one by the wayside. So, thank you. I'll send you my Venmo um, yeah. info <laughs> after this. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Awesome. Yeah. Well, um, Dan and uh, Barry, I know that we're getting close to the top of the hour. So let's mm -hmm. make sure we don't have any unanswered questions or if there's anything that you wanted to make sure to add, um, you know, what, what, um, what would you say? I'm excited because I have two completely independent, well, actually three, right? I have, I have three independent brands that I would love to put on this. So I'm really excited. Well, awesome. I'll be happy to chat with you about that, Vanessa, without a doubt. Um, I do see Chris has a question here that hasn't been answered. Uh, Chris is in Canada and we have thousands of clients up in Canada. So um, there's a couple of things you should know. In Canada, a ringless voicemail drop actually causes their phone to ring. They can answer it and just hear the recording, which I'm not a fan of that. That, that defeats the purpose of the technology. Uh, so you need to be aware of that in Canada. And of course, we can modify our send schedule appropriately. 
Um, I would also say that everything else absolutely works in Canada without a problem. Uh, we didn't go through every single feature inside the application today. This really wasn't set up as a demo or tour, but when you go to happygrasshopper.com slash meet LCA nurture, you will see that there's tons of information there. Uh, and for clarity, uh, the plan consists of email, text message, and ringless voicemail drop. And then it's supplemented with social media content that you can post whenever you choose. And you have a la carte access to our handwritten cards feature, which is an integration with a great company called Handwritten. So uh, they have a whole room full of robots that hold pens and it's, the cards look amazing. They're absolutely- Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Say that again. Yeah. You have what integration with the handwritten? What happened? Yeah, okay. So I'll turn the screen share back on and I'll show you real quick. Uh, there's this super it's cool company called Candy. Like I'm such, honestly, like I'm such a thoughtful person, like my, by nature, like I love gifting. I love doing things that make people feel special. And then like, I have no time on earth. So I'm like, Lord Jesus, help me. How do I? How do I <laughs> well, up? we're just going to pick a card here. So I'll pick a thank you card. And whatever we write here in the message area is what's going to show up inside your card. So I'll just write a quick message. So happy uh, we spoke. Whoops. So what's up? You're awesome. I write for a living and you got to see me go back and forth like this. All my best, Dan. All right, so I want to point out a few things here. First, you notice how the P's don't match in happy, the S's don't match in Vanessa. Anywhere we have a word that's got two of the same letters and no matter which font choice we make, it's going to follow that same convention. So it always looks like a human being wrote the card. And like, I'll show you, there's dozens of different fonts in here. This is the one that I personally use uh, as I send cards. Does and when they're your actual handwriting, uh, it's not a sample of your actual handwriting. Those are fonts, but this is what it looks like when it's delivered. Can you, can you scroll out on that again? Yeah, sure. So it's a, a first class US postage stamp. It's a handwritten envelope. And of course, the, the inside of the card is handwritten too. But this is not a human being who wrote it. It's a robot holding an actual pen. So that's why you'll see variances here in the way the ink uh, presses into the page. So what's the cost on this? Uh, they start at $3.85 per card. Okay. And when you send in bulk, they scale downwards. So, okay. you know, your holiday mailing next year, if you're sending a thousand cards, that can get as low as like $2 a card. So. And so um, really quick, do they uh, allow you to put any custom photo on the front of the card? Uh, not yet, not yet. So we have all sorts of great things that are just down the road, including being able to insert gift cards. Um, so that's coming soon, but it's not live yet. Because um, for example, one of the things that I do um, for my buyers is when I take a picture of them either at closing or in front of their house, then it automatically goes to um, a, a photo card like this. And then, you know, they get that right after closing. Yep. So, you know, it's like a photo and a card together, you know, so. Um, yeah, I, I, I like that approach. Like I have a, a general philosophy about a few things and one is that I, I want anything that we're sending to feel like a human being cared enough about another human being to do it. So, uh, you know, including a photo like that would be a great example of, of, you know, a way to really demonstrate that you care and do that. So I love that approach. That's yeah. really cool. Um, cool. Well, that's right. amazing. I'm so glad to be able to learn about this and apply it and integrate it and send it to my partners. Awesome. Right. Thank you, Vanessa. Uh, so a couple of things I'll just uh, add here. My calendar, you know, if like Vanessa, you'd like to schedule a call with me so we can have a chat about this, uh, happygrasshopper.com slash Dan comes to my personal calendar. So 
Uh, Vanessa, I hope you go there. I hope we'll have a, a chance to follow up. I love Anchorage, by the way. My good friends, Bree and Ryan Tollefson are in Anchorage. And I yeah. have been to your fair city and was delighted. What an amazing place Anchorage is. Yes, it's Alaska special. It definitely is. Are they are they on LC and Archer as well? Uh, they're not. They're longtime happy grasshopper customers from before yeah. LCA Nurture existed. Yeah, I know that. I think they've, I've seen uh, your desk get maybe at their events as a sponsor. So, yeah. Oh. Hmm. Cool. <laughs> cool. Well, I'm delighted to know you. And, and I want to thank both of you for uh, joining us here today. It's really great to have you. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Awesome. All well, right. Thank you so much. And uh, super great. I mean, leveraging this it really solves so many pains in uh, the life of a realtor. So I always am excited to learn the best tips, tricks, hacks to make the most out of our time and give us the best connections in this business. So thank you, Dan. And thank you, Barry, for uh, for breaking it down for us as well. Awesome. awesome. All right. Awesome. Bye. Very cool. All right. Take care, everybody. Bye.